Margaret Dix's Gal Treasures and welcome to my channel. I am a stay-at-home mom that is making and saving money and showing you how I'm doing it. One of the ways that I make money is by picking up and selling jewelry online. So I wanted to bring this video to you today, spying on eBay, and let's take a look at Trifari. Trifari is something that is pretty common, I find, to pick up, but you can get a really good profit from Trifari jewelry. So let's take a look at eBay and see what kind of prices we can get for some of the Trifari things that we might see and pick up while we are out at garage sales, estate sales, thrift stores, and things like that. And I would love to hear from you. Leave a comment down below about some of the pieces you've picked up that have sold for pretty good money. If you'd like to see me spying on eBay for some other jewelry models or brands, leave me a comment about that as well, and we can take a look at those jewelry pieces as well. Before we jump into what kind of prices you can get for Trifari, let's take a look at some of the history of Trifari. So Trifari started in the 1920s and has been very respected as a costume jewelry brand. Lots of people have worn it from maybe Eisenhower to Madonna, it says on here. And there are lots of different um, marks and tags for Trifari, so it's important to be able to identify those. I also did a video about Trifari Jelly Bellies, which here are a couple examples, and I'll link that video up above, so if you're interested in learning more about Trifari Jelly Bellies, you can check out that video as well. So let's take a look over at this. This is an eBay, um, 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 this is an eBay article about Trifari Marks. So this is one of them, the KTF Trifari Crestman and Fischl is one that you might see. There are hang tag marks like this one that's got a trifari with a crown. Sometimes you'll see crown trifari or a T with a crown. There's also, there's another T with a crown hang tag that I've seen. So there's this one trifari patent pending. There's a few different, oh, here's another one, a T with a little crown on it. It might just say trifari. So definitely lots of different marks to keep an eye out for. So I'm just scrolling through this and I'll link these down below if you're interested in checking them out. Later. So here we go. I did just a search for Trifari on eBay and these are sold. I haven't narrowed this down by auction or buy it now, but as you can see, there are this many in the, in the solds. Let me make sure I have sold on. Yeah, and this many in the solds. So that's a lot. I mean, it's something that people are looking for and the prices really vary. Some of them actually really blew me away. So you might find something that's a little brooch. And again, it's everything. Brooches, necklaces, earrings, bracelets. It, it encompasses so, so much. So this is just the, the search that came up as I when I clicked it. So just scrolling through. I mean, some of these, I don't really do auctions, so I may click away from the auctions. I mean, but just look at this. So this is a brooch and an earring set that sold for $77.99. You can get a pretty penny for some of this. Now, personally, I would have sold this mushroom for way more than $2.99 because there are people that, with figural things, really enjoy figural stuff. Now, here's a rare vintage Trifari turquoise cabochon brooch. So here we go, $79.78. Pretty cool. So just scrolling through, again, I'm going to click away. Look at this one. Crown Trifari coin chain oriental faux jade dangle pendant, $159.95. That is really, really impressive. So I'm going to switch over. This is just the buy it now because generally that's what I do is buy it now. Um, I haven't filtered it or sorted it by any price or anything like that. But just in the last couple of months, because what does eBay go for, like three months or something like that? 5912 So definitely keep that. Now I'm like, ooh, I've been making up some uh, some bags to send out. And I'm like, maybe I should pull that Trifari out. Mm, I don't know. So here we've got a brooch and earring set for, that sold for $52. Again, figural stuff. I know we talk, I'll probably do a different video about this, but figural stuff sells and it can sell for really good money. So definitely keep your eye out. When I say figural, I mean things that look like things, leaves, brooches that look like trees or frogs or animals or objects, right? People, there's a collector for every object, right? So just scrolling through, I'm going to filter it in just a second to take a look. But there are so many different things. Again, this I, I might have put more on this um, butterfly. But that's the thing. You won't get a lot of money if you don't ask for a lot of money. Yeah, somebody's going to come and snatch that up. I wouldn't be surprised if somebody may be picking this up and flipping it. So, Trifari brooch with Sarah Coventry earrings. But they do seem to match, don't they? Isn't that funny? All right. So, let's look at that. And then we'll switch over. Ooh. I wonder 
what they got for their best offer. Vintage jewelry, 312 piece lot. Hmm. Okay, and look here, this clamper bracelet looks like a clamper bracelet. Uh, Trifari, yeah, 30 bucks right there on that. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Here's another one, ruby red rhinestone strawberry brooch, $28. Look at this one. Is this a dress clip? Oh yeah, dress clips. So 300 bucks, a fur clip, fur dress clip. Mm -hmm. You know what, I think I have these earrings. I think I have those. <laughs> okay, let me switch it over and let's do from most expensive to least expensive. Price, highest price plus shipping. Let's do that one. Whoa. All right, rarest. Alfred Philippi 1937 Trifari bracelet. Let me open up uh, my, oh, what's it called? Flipper tools. <laughs> FlipperTools.com. So Flipper Tools, you can see what the eBay actual price was. So you can, we can come over here. Where did they go? Let me close this out. Close, close, close. Let's take a look with Flipper Tools at what this actually sold for. Because they had it listed for $3,000, basically. If I plug this in to Flipper Tools, it will let us know what the actual so Wow, best offer. Private listing, buyer's identities protected. Okay, $1,500 was the best offer accepted. I might accept that as well. It's really pretty though, right? And then here, Trefari, Alfred Philippi, Have Enamel, Wisteria, I guess it's a brooch, yeah. $2,800. So there's definitely money to be made in Trefari. So, I mean, these are rhinestones, set sapphire rhinestones. It's not like real sapphires, but there are collectors there are rare pieces, and oh, look at the pea pods. Aren't they so cute? Faux pearl and emerald enamel, $1,700, y'all. I haven't found any of these. <laughs> let's keep an eye out for the pea pods. Okay, if you found any of these, let me know. So here we've got another one, Cabochon Triple Drop brooch, $1,200. Some of them are these big lots that are selling for a lot of money. Look at this, figural bug, right? There's this one. Let's take a look at what this one it's crossed out. Best offer. Let's see what the best offer was. Actual selling price. Drum roll, please. Da, 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 da. $775. Nice. That's nice. Okay, horses, you know horses are going to sell, right? So over $1,000 for this horse brooch. And it looks like it even has some damage and stuff on it. But I think it, it won't matter. It won't matter. <clears throat> so here we've got a lot, a set. Um... So I'm seeing some of these big lots people are selling, just selling it all off. So that's pretty cool. Um, again, this little, is this a dog, a little Pekingese dog? Let's see how much a Pekingese sold for. Oh, I see a Jelly Belly lot coming up. Let's see what the, oh, that's Great Britain. So let's see what the price was for this Pekingese dog. <laughs> again, big girl stuff, guys. Maybe we should be talking about big girl stuff. 550 pounds, right? Wow. So again, these Jelly Bellies can go for big money. So definitely keep an eye out. There's another one with a frog. Is this a bird? What is that? Or is that a, oh, it's a bug? I don't know what it is. Anyway, maybe it's a bug. So lots of cabochons, lots of big blingy stuff to keep your eye out for with Trifari. Now let's take a look at some of the lower end prices just to get a look for if you were going to go, say, sniping to try to find stuff that you could flip. Price plus shipping lowest first. What kind of things were not selling for a lot? But I think, you know, that some of these could probably go for bigger money because some people, like I didn't realize, even just from watching this, like <laughs> even from just watching, even from just doing this, seeing, oh yeah, that's, um, that, that goes for a lot of money. So some of these are just earrings. Uh, I mean, I, a dollar? Come on. You got to get more than that. So that, that would definitely be easy to, to, to snipe and, and flip things on eBay. I'm looking like that. Those are so pretty. Some of the pictures though. Hmm. Okay. I'm looking for figural things. So I'm just thinking, okay, are there figural things that maybe could have sold for, for better? But I wouldn't be surprised at all if some of these were snipe. Look at this. Now I know you could get more money for the, the crowns than this. Definitely. Small crown. Ooh, now I want to go see what's for sale. <laughs> let's go look. Hmm. All right, let's go for, um, 
completed? No, I don't want completed listings. Let's just search again. Let's take off everything and search what's up. What's up right now? Lowest to highest. So this is for sale right now. I am looking for like the crowns, the jelly bellies, the figural stuff that might be something to flip. If I was living in an area where I couldn't find jewelry, this might be something that's good to do, you know? Taking a look for, like that one's missing with something, so I probably wouldn't have even listed it. Maple leaf lapel pin. I'd have to look at um, completed on that. Ivory cute vintage trifari. Maybe, but it's T9C. I noticed that some of the other ones are bigger, bolder, brighter view, uh, to see. So, yeah, anyway. What is this one? Blades of grass. <laughs> All right. So, yeah, I didn't see any, like, figural stuff. But, I mean, it's something to do. One, things might be um, labeled incorrectly if they don't have it. You know, if they don't know what a jelly belly is, they might put it for lower. Like this frog, for sure, I, I could get, you could get more than that because there are people who collect frogs. So those are some of the things to think about when you are out and about. If you're looking for Trifari, you're looking at jewelry, you see some Trifari. We saw some things that went for lower prices that were just kind of like, meh, you know, just little white flat earrings or just little silver hoops might be going for less, but things that are figural, blingy, things that are showy, definitely go for more. So keep your eye out for that Trifari. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know if you found any Trifari, if you've sold any for amazing prices, or if you have got some ideas for other things that you'd like to spy on eBay for, and we can create another video. So I will talk to you guys on the next one. Thanks so much, you guys. Bye.